Am I the a-hole for leaving our friend on our vacation after she wasn't allowed to board the flight? Throw away. I don't think anyone involved is on Reddit but I'm paranoid lol. Me and three friends planned a vacation to Hawaii. We booked the flight, hotel, and car together for a discount and then split the costs for ways. So we each paid roughly $800. We also booked a couple things to do there totaling around $250. The day of the flight we all arrive at the airport and start going through TSA. One of my friends, I call her Sarah, got stopped because she had a smoke pen in her bag. She says she just forgot it was in there and didn't intentionally bring it but it doesn't really matter either way. TSA ended up calling airport PD and Sarah was not allowed to board the flight. MJ is not legal in our state. She wasn't arrested, but she was given a ticket and court date and not allowed through security. Obviously, the rest of us still got on the plane because we're looking forward to our vacation. Now, we're back and Sarah is mad at all of us for going and wants us to pay her back for her portion of things since she couldn't go. But I don't think we should have to. It's not our fault she wasn't allowed to fly and I didn't budget for paying her half as well. She's also mad because the airport is one hour from our home city and we didn't give her the keys to the car so she had to pay for an Uber home. We didn't say she couldn't have the keys. It's just that no one thought to give her the keys to Matt's car when it was all going down. One of my friends says we should just pay her to keep the peace, but I don't think we should have to. Matt also thinks we shouldn't have to pay her. If we split her costs, it would be about $350 each. I could technically afford it, but I'm working on paying off my credit card, and that's about the same amount I put toward the credit card each month, so it would put me a month behind on my plan to pay off my last credit card. I was a little irresponsible in my early 20s. Am I the a-hole if I refuse to pay her back? And even if I'm not the a-hole, should I just do it anyway to keep the peace? Here are the top comments, plus Opie's reply. Info, why didn't she get on a later flight once everything was cleared up? OP replied, I don't travel often so I don't know how it works, but I assume she would have had to pay for another flight and wouldn't have wanted to do that. She was also pretty pissed off at that point. We all received some more angry texts when our plane landed, so that could have contributed to her not even trying. I will say I don't think she's actually mad at us. I think she's mad at herself and taking it out on us. Which is not great, but it is out of character for her. I think the whole thing is just really frustrating for her, so we're giving her grace there. This is 100% her fault. None of you did anything wrong, and there is no reason at all to reimburse her for her costs. Definitely not the a-hole. She messed up. She committed a crime. Totally her fault. Not even any insurance would cover such preventable mistakes. According to her logic, if everyone except one person would have missed the flight, then the only remaining person would have to pay everything? Totally not. 